All right, we're back here. We're uh, we're ready to go, and the first thing we're gonna do here in our pizza oven, um, I shouldn't call it a pizza oven because we're about to cook salmon. So uh, I got that seasoned to taste. Three nice pieces of salmon there. I get these at Trader Trader Joe's. I don't know if you have those nearby, but they make some great flash frozen fish. And uh, that oven is so hot. I have my fire glove on right here. It's always important to exercise good safety. I'm Captain Safety, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to move a lot of my ashes to the back here, okay? And um, I just use my little shovel here. And you can see how hot this these coals look right here. Bright orange. We're going to move a lot of them out of the way. Get them in the back. And again, uh, if you watched uh, installment one of this series, you'll see that I the back of my oven is the only part of the oven that is cemented together with refractory cement. I just don't want to push anything out the back as I'm doing this, okay? So, again, what I did here was just made a space to cook on, and again, that's where my oven would go. I mean, I'm sorry, that's where my pizza would go as well. But as we're going to cook fish, we're not going to put that right on the surface. We're going to put that, um, as you see above, in a, a nice cast iron skillet, and this is ready to go, okay? This is going to be fun. We're going to slide this right in, put it right in the back nestled in there and you're gonna see that start to cook very quickly but I'll take a step back for you that salmon was prepared with a little bit of olive oil and then I just seasoned it to taste as I mentioned before um, but again this this oven is 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 cooking now probably in the I don't know six seven hundred degree range back near those coals that's probably near a thousand and You'll note that I'm going to need to turn this because that salmon in the back is going to cook a little bit quicker than the salmon in the front, but I'll just keep this going. I'll keep this camera rolling for a, a minute or two to give you a sense of how this cooks. I got my cup of tea over here. I showed that in an earlier video, but this cup of tea here was boiling. It just cooled down. It has some great flavor. I got all those mint leaves in there. And um, man, as I cook, look at that searing up already. Pizza cooks in about, geez, three, four, five minutes, you know, really quick. Uh, this fish, you know, again, you want to cook fish till it's flaky inside, and that's my barometer anyway, but you can just see how quickly that's going there. And what I'm going to do already, because it's getting really hot in the back, is I'm going to turn it with my glove on. Now, with that, that oil, it's starting to splash a little bit. I'll push it back using my poker. You don't want to get burned here, right? So, again, that's, that fish is going. It's cooking. It's nice to look at that, that piece in the back there. You can see the middle, how it continues to just cook right through. I'm gonna step back a little bit because that oil is starting to pop and kick out, but. It's important when you're cooking a pizza or fish or anything, again, to continue to monitor whether you need to turn the dish. It's much hotter in the back near the coals than it is in the front, right where my hand is now. But, um, you know, the nice thing about this oven is that it, it, it the heat is really uniformly spread everywhere inside there. And a lot of times, I had mentioned this in video number one, you know, people would say you need that dome when you're making a pizza oven, but you don't. This is a square model, and um, there's n really, in my opinion, no reason to go through the hassle of getting that dome because this model cooks really well. It cooks on top, it cooks underneath, it cooks on the sides, everything. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to sign off at this point, but you can see how quickly that gets going. This video is running at four minutes, and that fish has probably been in there for about three minutes, but I'm pretty certain that that fish is almost ready to be eaten and broken apart. Um, I might just turn this one more time to demonstrate what I mean by that. We'll grab the back end. And I can tell you that fish is almost ready to go. Just under five minutes and we're uh, 
We're eating some protein. Stay tuned. Pizza's coming next.